Ambient light is any form of continuous light. For example, the sun, studio hot lights, or any non-strobe light. The L358 makes it simple to get accurate exposures in any ambient light situation. This quick visual overview will have you ready to meter in just a couple minutes. To do an ambient light meter reading, select the sun icon by holding down the mode button and rotating the jog wheel. We're now in ambient metering mode. To do a test reading, let's put the meter in aperture priority mode. Photographers often shoot in aperture priority mode in order to control the depth of field. Higher f-stops make the depth of field deeper, while lower f-stops make it shallower. To set aperture priority, hold down the mode button and rotate the jog wheel until the f is selected. F stands for f-stop. Now let's turn the jog wheel to set our desired aperture. For this example, let's go with f2.8. Click the measure button and your meter will display the correct shutter speed. We got a reading of 60 or 1 60th of a second, but your reading will probably vary. In order to freeze action or create motion blur, photographers often use shutter priority mode. Let's do an example shutter priority reading. While ensuring the sun icon is selected, hold down the mode button and rotate the jog wheel to the T. Let's set our shutter to 60, or 1 60th of a second, and click the measure button. The meter now displays the correct aperture. An EU reading indicates you don't have enough light. If it's blinking, you'll have to add more light, and if it's solid, you'll have to adjust your shutter or aperture. To adjust your ISO, simply hold down the ISO 1 button and rotate the jog wheel. With just these few simple metering techniques, you can now get accurate exposures in any ambient light situation. To learn additional metering techniques, watch the next video in the series, Metering Strobe.